Hello everybody, I'm Boaz Fighter. I'm an evolutionary astrologer and this is the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 13th and the 20th of July 2019. Here is where I talk very briefly about the celestial soup that we all swim and drink from sometimes and how to better deal with it over the coming week. So we begin this Saturday with a beautiful trine in the sky between Chiron and the moon which is conjunct uh, uh, Jupiter in the sky, Jupiter in the sky, and Mars and Mercury on the third end of that triangle. It's a time to enjoy yourself and utilize your energy in new, more easy, more up-to-date ways that could actually heal you. This is a time to utilize your optimism to actually take yourself forward, but be careful from rhetoric that is too direct or too aggressive. Um, other than that, Sunday the 14th is a very transformational time. We are heading into a partial lunar eclipse that is going to be seen over the Middle East, most of Europe and Africa. People in these regions are going to be exposed to its energies more and maybe even get a glimpse of the reddening moon uh, between the 16th and the 17th Eastern European time just at 20 past midnight. So, at this time of eclipse, what kind of eclipse is it? What does it hold? This eclipse is an eclipse that is in the 24th degree of Capricorn and is conjunct Pluto. It's a very transformational time. Every lunar eclipse is a full moon. So, up to the 17th, the 16th, 17th, we are experiencing a height of energy. But as I said, it's a very transformational time. Allow yourselves to lose yourselves. And if you feel momentarily that you are lost, it's okay. You are aligned. The analogy that I give my clients is of these very plutonic and transformational times is that this is like a whirlpool. And we're not supposed to fight it. We're supposed to conserve the air, the energy that we hold within us and dive deep. Knowing that we would be uh, brought up another place, in another place, back up to the surface, in a way, transformed and different. Another analogy that I give is of these subs that now take researchers to the depth of the oceans, to the bottoms of the sea and make them a, a, a witness and record discoveries and wonderful scenarios that we weren't able to recognize that exist and actually act out in the natural system before. And by bringing that knowledge back up to the surface, that knowledge that was underneath, hidden from our eyes up to that time, by bringing it back up, we are transformed. We know our natural system better and are able to get greater power. Pluto, the, 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 the ruler of Scorpio, is about the utilization of greater power. So, if you want to know how to handle Plutonic times in your life, here it is. It's very simple. Remember, you're going down because you want to come back up. You're going down because you need to bring knowledge. You need to bring that pearl back from the abyss. You need to know what's happening in that inside protocol that makes us all run. Do not resist it, but cherish this time. So as the moon conjuncts Pluto, getting ready for that eclipse, the sun is going to oppose Pluto. Again, a personally very transformational time. And like Nick, Mick Jagger used to say, it's okay to let yourself go as long as you know the road back uh, or, or how to get yourself back. So Sunday, Monday could be very turbulent emotionally and could feel very sensitive. There's a square from the moon to uh, Chiron on Monday the 15th as well. Take it easy. Tuesday especially, especially with your loved ones and family. This is a sensitive time as we are heading on the 17th at the time of the eclipse 
to an exact opposition between Venus and Saturn. This is a time of realignment in our relationships, realignment in the ways we provide satisfaction and even monetary value into our lives. When Saturn opposes Venus, it doesn't give a peeps on what we would want or what we're afraid might happen. It shows us reality as it is. Deal with it, says Saturn. Start working with it practically, says Saturn. Grow up, mature, and see things as they are. And because we do, because we see things as they are, we are able to actually enjoy and create better value for ourselves on a stable manner in the future. And we are heading into a trine from Venus to Neptune at the end of this week, a very romantic time lifting this heavy energy that was there priorly. But again, it's a wonderful time to actually take the time and enjoy and find some inspiration and romance in your relationships. Just if you meet someone new or if you're going into something new, a new job or something like that, don't idealize things. Don't make them too good to be true. It's still unknown. Remember that it's still unknown and you can't idealize it. Don't put the ultra pink glasses on, shades on. You know, it needs to be a little pink here, especially in this world full of asphalt and concrete. But, you know, enjoy the colors. Just remember that the universe isn't this uh, uh, cotton candy kind of place the 17th and Tuesday the 16th night time Eastern European time that's uh, midday uh, the 16th in America and the night time of the 16th and the beginning of the 17th in Australia in the Pacific we are going to experience this eclipse as I said exactly 20 minutes before 1 o'clock at night Eastern European time and this is a transformational and a hard eclipse. We can find ourselves too judgmental, too strict, feeling too deserted and alone at that time. Nevertheless, remember you're going down to come back up. In Israel, we're supposed to learn the, the Old Testament in school. And of course we do. And there's the story of Joseph. Joseph with the dreams. Joseph that was gay joseph that was maybe even trans we don't even know you know but he was certainly an extravagant talented intelligent young boy that was a total non-conformist and so much so that his brothers could not stand him throwing him in a dark pit and selling him into a caravan of slave traders going to egypt and as it happened in egypt in the prison in Egypt, he met one of the ministers that was thrown in, impressed him so much, and later on, as politics usually do, when the minister became a minister again and uh, was uh, taken out of prison, he took Joseph with him and made him eventually the prince of Egypt. Later on, his own family, suffering a famish in Israel, came down to Egypt to ask his assistance. So what is the moral of the story? Sometimes who we are is so hard for our environment, not for ourselves. So much so that we are scrutinized for it and thrown into a dark pit and exodus, you know, been taken away, abducted in a way, and sold into a life of slavery only only to find ourselves anew at that dark pit, at our hour of strife, and grow to become the princes of that new kingdom. Allowing ourselves later on not only to help oursel ourselves and countless of other souls, but also our loved ones that have stayed back, stayed behind in their mind frame, in their ideals, in the way they used to work the land only to experience uh, uh, greater sufferings as the world changed. So remember, while, while you are going through this transformation, you are actually going through it not only for yourselves and not 
only uh, 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 for other people, you're going through it also for your cherished loved ones around you. You are going to be able to bring them sweeter fruits and better uh, uh, achievements and truths and authenticity and power in the future. At the end of the week, we're having this uh, trine on, on Thursday the 18th from Venus to Neptune and then Friday Mercury is retrograding back into Cancer. We all become a little more emotional and childish in the way we decide things. So be aware of that. And Saturday the 20th, a great energy in the sky, very relaxed and loose. You know, we can allow ourselves to be uh, flexible with ourselves as there is a sextile to Uranus that day as well. But I want to finish with talking about something that is happening at the end of that this week, the next and, and next week, and that is that Mars, planet of male energy and aggression, is conjuncting Juno, uh, Hera, uh, the wife of Zeus in charge of marriage and every relationship we are loyal to. So we have to be careful not to be too assertive, not to be too um, hard and, and drive it too um, staunchly forward what we feel we need or our desires and be careful not to hurt people who we are in a relationship uh, with. So remember the time of an eclipse is a wonderful time to allow that self-transformation to occur within your life, to actually take that sponge and, and see what filters through it again and do some visualization and do a, a ceremony of uh, um, bringing in something th sacred and new into your identity and into your personality and into your personal life. And the moon is going to be a little red, so it's probably going to be kind of nice. And we can feel how time and space are different at this time. Different. We can utilize it. We can harness it to make those changes that we want in who we are and our personal lives. Just be kind and loving to yourselves and people around you. Just don't be too harsh. Just don't be too dark. And um, I'm reminding you that I'm opening up an English group, both for beginners and another group for intermediate students. So if you want to join online with me every week, just contact me. The details are at the end of the slide. So may we all live long, prosper, and enjoy this time and cherish this time and become better because of it. Amen. Bye-bye.